Hello traders, welcome to the daily technical forex forecast for the 31st of October. My name is Andrew Shinesky, I am a technical analyst at Triumph for Fix and traditionally we start our forecast with the euro USD currency pair. The price demonstrated an abrupt fall yesterday. Moreover, we need to point out the new level of resistance is 1.1379 in which the increased volume is concentrated. So given all these factors, we should give preference to short positions. But we can enter the market after the continuation of the sharp drop supported by the increased volume. A stop loss should be located above the new level of resistance and a potential of the deal is more than 100 points. So with the euro, short positions should be in priority. The pound, the pair showed an abrupt and confident fall Unfortunately, the downward movement was on the average volume, therefore we can't point out any new volume level as long. Nevertheless, given the presence of the strong local downtrend, we must consider exceptionally sharp positions. We can enter the market after the continuation of the sharp sink, but the movement must be supported by the large volume. It will be a more secure and precise signal for entering the market. A stop loss should be placed above the beginning of this move and a potential of the deal is more than 120 pips. So with the pound, short positions should be in priority. The yen. The pair demonstrated an abrupt growth and broke out the previous level of resistance, the upper limit of the local range, which is a great bullish signal. So now we should give preference exceptionally to long positions. We can enter the market after a smooth downward correction of the price in order to get a more profitable entry point. A stop loss should be placed under the beginning of the breakout movement and a potential of the deal is around 130 pips. So with the yen, long positions after a smooth correction of the price down. The Canadian dollar. Nothing has changed here. The price is still located a little bit below the level of resistance. The local maximum 1.3151. Hence, our previous scenario remains actual. We can open long positions only after the sure and keen breakout of this level. The breakout movement must be supported by the large volume, which will assure us against the false breakout. A stop loss should be placed under the breakout volume bar, and the potential of the deal is more than 100 points. So, with the Canadian dollar, long positions after the confident and keen breakout of the level of resistance. The Australian dollar. The price goes on trading within the level of support 0.7026 and the level of resistance 0.7150. Given that the pair is locked inside this local consolidation, the best solution with this instrument is just to wait for a sure exit of the price from it. Moreover, the breakout movement must be sharp and supported by the large volume which will show us against the false breakout and will be a more accurate signal for entering the market. Until then, while the pair is trading inside this range, we should stay out of the market. And our last instrument for today is gold. The pair fell down sharply and broke down the previous level of support, the lower limit of the local range, which is a green bear signal. Unfortunately, the move was on the medium volume, therefore we can't point out any new volume level as on. However, we still should give advantage to short positions. We can enter the market after a smooth and small correction of the price up in order to obtain a more profitable entry point. A stop loss should be placed above the beginning of the breakdown movement and the potential of the deal is more than 150 pips. So with gold, short positions after a smooth correction of the price up. Let's take a look at the sentiment of the market. This indicator totally affirms all our trading scenarios today, which is a great additional signal. As with the Australian dollar, we need to wait for a sure exit of the price from the local consolidation and only after that we can regard new positions. For today it's all. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. Subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with the latest researches. Take care. Bye-bye.